ratios. Ratios just compare two quantities. So we could, we could say it in words, one to two. Um, sometimes you see them written as a fraction, one divided by two or one over two. And then sometimes you might see them written in this way with the colon, and it, said, it reads just like the English version, one to two. And these are all equivalent ways to write the same thing. Um, so ratios compare quantities that have the same units. So we could say one inches to two inches, or one ounces to two ounces. Uh, raci ratios are used a lot um, in, uh, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is cooking. You see them a lot in recipes, right? You can uh, bake based on ratios rather than following a recipe. Um, the other place that they show up that's probably more relevant to you is in the healthcare field. Uh, ratios are used a whole bunch to calculate dosages and, and things like that. So we need to know about ratios. Um, so ratios compare two quantities with the same units. Uh, rates, on the other hand, compare quantities with different units. So you could think about 10 miles to one hour, right? That's pretty slow. <laughs> it's about, uh, that would be pretty slow if you were driving your car. If you were running, that would be reasonably fast. Just, I guess it just depends on what you're doing. So we've got miles and hours. We've got different uh, units that we're measuring in. So if you said um, 10 ounces per gram, right? that would give, be different, that would be a rate because the units are different. So in ratios, because the units are the same, they actually cancel out and give us what we, we would say a ratio would be un, unitless. So for example, if I gave you something like, I said two inches to seven inches, um, we could write, if we wrote it as a fraction, two inches over seven inches. Well, you can, you can think of, you can almost think of inches like a variable, right? They, it's the same on the top and the bottom, so they cancel each other out and make and just like we would if it, if it was a, if it were a X or a Y, right? So we would end up with just, 2 over 7. So ratios are unitless because the units cancel each other out because we're measuring the same, uh, the same thing in the top and the bottom of our, of our when we write them as a fraction. Um, rates on the other hand, so our example with 10 miles to 1 hour, right, the miles and the hours not the same. We can't cancel them out. So this would be considered a rate. 